The film you're about to watch now really tidies up a few loose ends that we left at the end of uh, the great Ackerman video, the one we perhaps rather incautiously called most difficult program to compute, question mark. Thank you for the gratifying response. Thank you for those people who put me right and uh, basically said your estimate of the number of seconds since the Big Bang at 2 to the 300 or whatever is way offline. It's 2 to the 59. Yeah, uh, th I feel suitably put in my place about that. It's one of the problems of waving your hand and just coming up with a number off the top of your head. Sometimes you can be orders of magnitude wrong. But nevertheless, um, as we discovered, Ackerman really does get very, very big indeed and grows faster than any exponential function. However, another thing I wanted to say at the end of the Ackerman video, and I think that I did say a few things about it, but inevitably when Sean cuts me down to size, and the previous video already runs for 14 minutes, there was a bit of stuff I had recorded saying it's not quite as bad as I said, because being computable, you don't have to sit there for 20 trillion universal lifetimes waiting for the answer to come out. You can use your human brain. You can infer what the pattern of recursions in Ackerman will lead to. And thereby you can work out what the result is actually going to be. So in fact, let's put you out of your misery. Those of you who are still miserable, that's today's big title. We'll move on to that in a minute. But for Ackerman, in the list of results that came out, I'll just take the final few. We saw that Ackerman for zero was 13. And in the interest now of pointing out to you a general pattern that emerges in Ackerman, I would point out that 13 just happens to be 2 to the power 4, which is 16, minus 3. Ackerman for 1, here's another dreadful, dreadful <laughs> confession. I waved my hands and said, what's in there is a quad core pentium. I didn't mean that. I was off my head. I was carried away. No, it's a pentium four. The well, great the, the great machine itself, unfortunately, is buried under a bulkhead back here, so you can't even see oh. it. It's between that desk and that desk, out of the way. That's why it takes the best part of three minutes to calculate Ackerman 4-1, which came out at 65.533. I would point out to you again that that is 2 to the power 16 minus 3. Okay. Ackerman a 4-2 then, where we had the thing running away and were mistakenly going to just sit there and wait for the recursion to finish, as if. Turns out, from the same recursive inference, you can show that the answer is utterly, utterly huge, but it actually can be represented as 2 to the 65, 5, 3, 6, which of course is another exact power of 2. Yeah? 2 to the 16 is 64k, where k is 1024, so if you put that out as a decimal, it's 65, 5, 3, 6. So the answer to Ackerman 4, 2, is 2 to the power of 65, 5, 3, 6, minus 3. And you see what the pattern is. It's some exact power of 2, minus 3, just from the way that the recursions go. Well, we've got this luxury here of saying, nice to be able to do that. Maybe we get lucky always like this, because this is a computable function. The problem is, some things are far worse behaved than this. And so what I've decided to do today is to show you something which behaves so badly it is even worse than Ackerman. It is far worse than Ackerman.